All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the Chapter 3 uh, Test Review Part 2. This is what we did uh, today in class, so hopefully uh, you're going to find this video to be helpful. All right, the very first question, what we have here is a matrix. This is a 2x2 two two matrix. All right, so this right here is a 2x2 two two matrix. It says an order from a major car manufacturer uh, for $80,000 worth of motors and $25,000 worth of service. Put in a column matrix. Guys, a row matrix looks like this. Notice it's long. A column matrix will look like this, where you have two numbers here, okay? Now, I put blanks here just so you know where my numbers are going to go. Guys, you don't have to do that, okay? So it says $80,000, $25,000. So $80,000 will go here. $25,000 will go here, all right? Now, I'm done with that question, all right? Now, the next question says use matrix multiplication. All right, so what I have here is a two by two matrix and I have a two by one matrix. All right, now the way that you're gonna create this, all right, you guys, you gotta you you have got to redraw these things. All right, no, I'm gonna show you the wrong way. So this is the wrong way, 0 0.25, 0 0.37, 0 0.07, 0 0.11, and then here is my 80,000, 25,000. Oops, that was the right way. Sorry, that is the right way. The reason I know it's the right way is that it's two by two, and this is a two by one. My two middle numbers match, so my answers will be a two by one matrix. So it is a two by one matrix, all right? Now, here is the wrong way, all right? And I'll do this in a different color. Maybe it shows up. This is the wrong way, do not do this. Let's say if you put 80,000 here, 25,000 here, and then 0.25, 0 0.37, 0 0.07, 0 0.11. That is a two by one. This is a two by two. Notice the two middle numbers do not match. That is a no, no. You cannot do that. So when you are doing this, when you are doing this, you have got to rearrange the matrices to where you can do or, and multiply this. All right. So this right here is row one. This is row two. Remember, I'm always moving to the right. This is column one. I'm always moving down. So row one, column one, that's 0.25 times 80,000. So 0.25 times 80,000, I'm just gonna write it right here, 0.25 times 80,000, plus shift over to the 0.37 times 25,000. Running out of room here, all right? All of that for the first entry, all right? The next one, this is row one, I'm sorry, row two, column one, Row two starts right there. Column one still starts at 80,000. So 0 0.07 times 80,000 plus shift over to the 0.11 as I shift down to 25,000 plus 0.11 times 25,000. All right, when I work all that out, my answer ends up being 29,250, 8,350. There we go. There's my answer for that part. This one here, it says find the difference. I'm subtracting. The order matrix is that guy. So simple subtraction, 80,000, 25,000. And I'm going to subtract that from my answer from the previous question, 83,550. When I do that, I get 50,750. 16,650. That's it. Just matrix operations, folks. There you go. All right, moving on. Okay, what we have here is a um, question uh, involving, I don't know, oh dear. Okay, now this is going to be my row matrix 30, 24. Now, this problem is going to be a pretty lengthy problem. So that's why I went ahead and gave you the answers. Well, we're going to talk about that in a second. Now, the birth rate will always go down the very first column. Always. Point one. The survival rate, remember, starts at the second column and runs at a diagonal. All right? You got to remember that pattern. It's going to help you out. Everywhere else is zero. So zero, 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 zero.
trying to do this quickly. And there we go. Awesome. All right. Now, normally in class, we have been multiplying this times this. All right. But because this is such a huge matrix, I decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and just give you the answers. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the answers because it says this. John multiplied the two matrices together. He does not know what his answer means. So use the information. Going back to what we done, uh, did in class, remember that the very first number is the babies. How many babies were born? everything else these are the survivors all right everything in the entire matrix is the total population so let's answer some questions how many deer were there to start the problem well go back to your initial 50 30 24 24 12 8 do the math and you get 148 how many babies are born in the first cycle well there we go, 116. How many deer survived the first cycle? Well, 30, 24, 22, 22, 8. Add all that up, you get 106. How many deer died? Well, notice, there was 148 to start the problem. After the first cycle, there was 106 survivors. Do a subtraction problem. you got to find the difference. That gives you 42. What is the total population? Total population, again, adding all this up. And you get a grand total of 222 deer. All right. Now, what's great about your answer when you're using matrices is that it already puts everything in order for your ne next cycle. So notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in our matrix. One, two, three, four, five, six in our population column. So guess what? Just transfer the answers. 116 brand new deer. 20, 30, 24, 22, 22, 22, 22, and 8. That's it. All right. Flipping over to the back. All right. 2CB. Okay, now this is where, again, I'm seeing a lot of mistakes here. You're trying to go over to here where I have all the matrices, and you're trying to go, okay, this would be first, that would be second. You're trying to do all this mentally. Guys, do not do that. Off to the side, I gave you a lot of room to write. You are going to put your, rewrite your matrices in the order in which you're going to multiply them. And by doing this, keeps everything organized. All right, that's going to help you. There we go. Now, before we move on, ask yourself, let's say this is a this is a 2 by 3 matrix. This is a 3 by 2 matrix. Notice the two middle numbers match. My two outer numbers tells me what my answer is going to be. Before you start multiplying, you have got to put in your matrix. You've got to draw it. You got to keep things organized. All right. So here, row one, column one. All right. So this is row one. This is row two. Remember, I'm always moving to the right. This is column one. This is column two. I'm always moving down. So row one, column one starts right here, negative five. And then that starts at four. That gives me negative uh, 20. I shift over to the one as I shift down to the negative two plus negative two. Shift over to the negative one, shift over here, plus negative six. All right. Now, row one, column two. I can't do the, I, I'm sorry, row, I'm sorry, that's row two, column one. Sorry. I can't do it all because I'm just kind of, I'm going to run out of time. So row two starts at negative three, and that's four. Negative 12. Then you shift over to negative 5 as you shift down to negative 2 plus positive 10. Shift over to negative 3 as you shift over here plus negative 18. All right. So you are going to do this for these two here. Now, just in case, if you, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll do this one. All right. Row 1, negative 5. Row 2, negative 2. Positive 10. 1 uh, times negative 2 plus negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 plus 2. 
All right. So this is a this is a two step problem. Okay. And so I'm going to add everything up. I'm trying to do this in my head. I'm trying to keep everything. Let's see. I believe that ends up being negative twenty eight. This right here would be uh, I believe is negative twenty. All right. This here would be ten. And this here down here, if I would have done it, would have been twenty two. Okay. Now notice there's a little two there. That's not there for on accident. I'm going to distribute the two into here. So when I do that, my final answer is going to be negative 56, 20, negative 40, and lastly, 44. All right, easy, easy. All right, now the next question, and I gotta do a different color here because I'm all in this other question here. 5a minus e. All right, so the way that would look, 5, negative 2, negative 4, 5, and 6, minus e, which is over here. Now notice, again, how I am writing everything. I'm writing it out. You should do that too. Don't come over here and be like, well, negative 5, don't do that. Write it out. It keeps you organized. All right, so this right here, this will become negative 10 negative 20, 25, and 30, minus 5, 1, 0, 0. Now what makes adding and subtracting multiply or matrices so easy is that all you got to do is say, okay, that's a 2 by 2 matrix, that's a 2 by 2 matrix. Hey, the, the matrices match. So that's good. That means I'm going to have a 2 by 2 answer. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So upper left-hand element minus upper left hand element that gives you negative 15 upper right hand element minus upper right hand element negative 21 25 minus 0 25 and then 30 minus 0 gives you 30 easy all right let's keep going almost done all right a and g okay well again just like i said i'm going to write a down first I know you can't see it because it's off the screen, but uh, I can see it. That's all good. NG, negative 3, 6. All right. Dimensions, 2 by 2. Dimensions, 1 by 2. Uh-oh. That's a no-go. That doesn't match. No, or NA, or something that shows me that you know how to do it. All right, next. Oh, GA. Let's see, GA. Negative 3, 6, negative 2, negative 4, 5, and 6. Let's see, that is a 1 by 2. This is a 2 by 2. Hey, that works. My answer be a 1 by 2. Well, okay. 1, 2. There you go. Row 1, column 1. Row 1 starts there, moves to the right. Column 1, column 2. Works down. Negative 3 times negative 2, that gives me uh, positive 6. Shift over to the 6, I'll shift down to the 5, plus 30. Oh. Row 1, column 2. Start at row 1, which is negative 3, times negative 4, 12. Shift over to 6, as I shift down to 6, that gives me plus 36. My answer, 36. 48. Again, I'm putting these lines down here. I'm just doing that just so you know that's where numbers are going to go. All right, J and G. All right, J, negative 4, negative 6, G, 3, 6. All right, 2 by 1, 1 by 2. Two middle numbers match, outer numbers, my dimensions 1, 2, 3, and 4. Row one, row two. Now, normally with rows, you move to the right, but notice there's nothing to move to the right to. And I'll show you that in a second. Column one, column two. Again, with the columns, you normally would move down. But if you notice, if you move down, you're off the matrix. So watch how easy this is going to be. Row one, column one. Well, row one starts with negative four. Column one starts there. That's positive 12. Can't move to the right, can't move down. That's all I do for that element. Row one, column two. Again, negative 4 times 6, negative 24. Oh, 
row two, column one, whoop, negative six times negative three, 18. Row two, column two. Negative six times negative, or positive six, that gives me negative 36. So my answer, 12, negative 24, 18, 36. All right, lastly, put the following numbers in a row matrix. Eh, they're kind of already in a row, so I'm just gonna do that. Put the following in the column matrix. Well, that's a tall matrix, six, three, and five. All right, so it says, multiply the two matrices in a way so the product will be a one by one matrix. Let's see. My row matrix is a one by three. My column matrix is a three by one. My two middle numbers match. Hey, that's a one by one matrix. There we go. That's the way I'm gonna set it up. So, here we go, one, three, five, six, three, five. Remember, row one moves to the right, column one move down. My answer, all right, so, row one, column one, one times six, six, plus three times three is nine, plus five times five, 25. My answer, 40. All right, there you go, that's part two. I'm hoping that uh, I didn't go too fast for you. If so, stop, uh, do it all over again, and hopefully um, you'll be able to get all your questions answered. So, thank you for watching, bye-bye.